Hey guys, Rob from Model Makers Union here again. Uh, I know it's been quite a while since we've done a video, so uh, what we're going to talk about today is a bit of a channel update, and I'm hoping to get a lot better at uh, you know giving you guys some content. Um, lots has been happening. It's been very busy, uh, meeting a lot of new people, a lot of great groups. Uh, we'll get to the groups in a minute. We're going to talk about uh, a few products that have been sent to me for review and uh, those will be coming up and then also we'll talk about we'll show off some of the builds i've done in the interim since you guys have seen me last uh, oh we can also start with this this is going to be my next project let's move that Decided after a long and hard thought that we're gonna build one big massive freaking plane. I did have acquired the big head set for it. Mr. Jeff Hearn from Scale Colors has kindly donated this set of paint, which he pretty much designed because I wanted to build this thing. Um, so here you go, legacy set. And then also I have the Red Fox Studio cockpit set, which I'll show you here in a minute. So this is going to be coming up for review as we build this. I also have Jeff's um, scale color set um, for Bismarck. It doesn't look like Bismarck colors, but when you shake them up, they do. <laughs> so again, scale colors. Now, Jeff also does 3D printed resin tank tracks. So this will be another review coming up. This will go on my Sturm Tiger. This I don't have a kit for at the moment, but I will build them anyways. Um, while we're talking about groups, accuracy and scale modeling and the Modeling Miscreants podcast and Elite Model Productions. Okay, so Elite Model Productions is essentially what it says. It's elite. It's not meant to discourage. It's meant to inspire. Uh, that's run by my good friend, Mark Andrews. And if you guys, it's it's mainly aircraft. Anything goes there, but it's mainly aircraft. If you're looking for solid pictures of excellent builds, that's the place to go. The other one is accuracy and scale models, which is very similar to Elite, but mainly armor built. That one is done by Mike Sacklin, who's a great guy and, you know, um, great group. We were doing actually an armored car build right now uh group build that's that one there that's my uh links and um so he's doing something kind of unique where thresholds have to be met so him and I, i'm assuming the value gear the guy that owns value gear came up with certain criteria as far as to give out random prizes as the group build goes up i happen to be the first one to to complete my build the build itself not the it's not done yet but so in return, I, I won this. Took forever to get here because, well, shipping sucks these days. But this stuff is uh, very impressive. And this will be coming up for review as well. Um, Red Fox Studios has also been very kind to send me some things for review. These are all going to have their own videos, by the way. But this is just a little overview. So they sent me the set. This is the set that goes with this plane over here. And Jeff's color matches that very well. This is for the Academy Viper. They call it the Shark Mouth, but it's a Viper. And then this one is for the new Rebel SR-71 Blackbird, which is finally touched down in Canada. And uh, hopefully I'll have my hands on it soon. Here you can see value gear again, if you guys want to see that closer. Send some nice cards. It's very nice stuff. It's just unbelievable. Um, the other group that I'm part of is the Modeling Miscreants podcast group, which is comprised of Mike Zacklin again, Jeff Hearn, and a crazy guy named Rob Riviezo, which he's, he's a good shit. They're all good shits. And, uh, you know, go on there and check them out. They do build rooms almost every night where everybody just gets to hang out and bust balls. And it's a great time. You can ask my wife. I spend a lot of time down here <laughs> talking with these guys. 
you know, it's proof that you can become friends with people without ever having meeting them. You know, I guess that's one of the good things that's happened because of COVID. Anyways, moving on. Here's some of the uh, completed builds that I've done. You've already seen the links. It's not complete yet. This is the Trumpeter 132nd Stuka. Uh, done in winter, whitewash camel. I tried my best. If you look closely, you can see the camouflage pattern underneath. You can see it here. You can see it here. You know, and uh, this was also my first attempt at using oil paints, you know, so I got some nice little streaks and everything. Uh, it was, was a good time. Great project. Probably one of my favorite ones to date. This spinner right here was a beast to do. And uh, I feel quite accomplished that I actually managed to pull that off. That's all painted in mass by me. No decals, no nothing. The next one that I did was the Meng Merkava Mark III. It's a very nice kit. Uh, you can actually see some of the value gear in there. I'm just playing around, seeing if it's going to fit. And it looks like it fits pretty good. Might have to make it look a little more natural, but you know. Um, this tank came with rubber band tracks, which is unbelievable. But uh, I think I managed to make them look okay. Color modulation is very subtle, but it's it's definitely there. Um, I didn't want to over-weather this one or make it too dirty. It's still going to get some sand and stuff. It's not quite done. These antennas were made with guitar wires. The C string, I believe it is. I, I don't know much about guitars, but it's the smallest string they make. Um, and then this vine roller attachment, which isn't done yet. You know, we'll clamp on in the front. Um, this I'm going to paint in totally different tones just to make it look like it's a piece of hardware. It's not part of the tank. It's just something that they clamp onto. Um, the next one is the Iron Maiden Spitfire. As you can see, I've painted both eddies. I didn't want to overweather this one too much. Uh, it's it's also a commission build, so you know the owner's very happy. He's unfortunately he's down with COVID right now, so I do have this thing still, but uh, hopefully it'll go to its new home soon, and he's going to be very happy with it. So that's what's coming up. We got some, we got some reviews. We got some paints to try out. We got to build big plane to build. We've got Red Fox Studios. We've got all kinds of stuff. So, you know, stay tuned to the channel. Um, this was just a quick update and we will be talking soon. Thank you and have a good day.